Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy's Popeye, and we are the RC Sailors. We are still on our little uh, five year anniversary vacation slash baby moon slash taking grandma to North Carolina trip to visit with family. And while we're here, we've realized that, wow, it's windy. It's like always windy, unless we just get small windows of opportunities where it's not super windy. Right now though, it's very windy. We were doing our video intros on the balcony, but it's too windy for that. And when we go out to record this truck, it's probably gonna to be too windy for you guys to enjoy. So it's gonna be a little bit different style of video, but it's still gonna get the same point across. I picked this out, this truck, because I thought it would be the perfect beach truck. It is a, a titled, self-titled and amphibious vehicle. Uh, <laughs> I think it's got it's a funny name. It's the FUFY 12 1 12 scale. It's a four wheel drive truck. I think it looks like it's designed to be a beach truck myself. Okay, these tires. I'm just taking the body clips off. These tires are nice and wide. Ooh, they have blue. very good like paddle mm -hmm. uh, design to them, so they should be able to just dig right through the sand really well. They have, this truck has lights pre-installed up here and Ooh, on nice. the light bucket up top. Ooh, nice. For, How much is it? Uh, this generally comes in under $80. Nice. Four wheel drive. And I love, see, well, there's where the lights, the lights can just, yep. You can so just two open. in the front and what, three on the top? Four, four. four, four on, on the top. top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, make sure it's actually got. Yeah, there's a light, yeah, there's uh -huh. a light bar. Four on top. Uh, that's really nice. We'll take a look at those lights here and uh, you know, you can unplug them too if you want to. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> now, how waterproof is this going to be? I don't know. We're not going to go submerge it in the ocean, but there are some puddles out there that we'll probably splash through. Here's your battery tray right there. That's a little dust shield, although sand will probably still get in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a brushed setup, but it's independent shocks. And, and again, I just love, absolutely love the lights on here. So I think if you guys watch our, okay, I like these bodies too. This is actually like a really hard foam, believe it or not. Is, Feel that. It is. Yeah, isn't that That's cool? That's crazy. Yeah, I like that. It has some give, so if you hit something, it's, that's probably why they're calling it amphibious. It can it probably float? can probably float. Of all the foam. We're gonna have to take it in some slightly deeper puddles out there mm -hmm. and see if it actually floats. And with those paddle tires, it can probably go oh. in the water. Popeye wants to go out. But you know what, buddy? You came out earlier and you got super hot, so we're not gonna take you out at the beach today. We'll go tonight when it's cooler. So guys, maybe check out our vlog channel and you can see a lot more of Popeye. <laughs> a lot more a lot of Popeye. More. <laughs> uh, this is the charger that comes with this truck. It's a European to balance port, and this is the battery that was included. It is a 7.4 volt, Popeye's telling us all about it. <clears throat> 1500 milliamp, two cell LiPo, 25C discharge rating with a Dean's connector. So you know I love that. It's actually hobby grade on the battery type and connector. And then you have this bag of the instructions and some spare parts. Uh, and one of those spare parts is actually not, it's not quite, it's just a, tools I should say in here, but it, there's your steering wheel for the transmitter. So that is just going to screw on there. Transmitter itself is pretty basic. You have your steering trim on here, so at least it's not on the truck itself, and just on off. That's it. But it does, get the, does it's all fully proportional. <laughs> Yeah, He's Popeye's excited. excited. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I wish he could come out for this video, but it's pretty crowded right now, and uh, I just don't want him to overheat. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. And then you'll notice we've done a couple other videos too, sitting right by Abby's little crawler truck that we did. Mm -hmm. If you missed that, you should totally check it out for like 35 bucks. It's Popeye great. Popeye was in that one. He was in this chase, one. Chase, 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 so if you chase. want to see Popeye, got Popeye so chasing, tired. he's in that one, which is really cool. Just a few days ago, and uh, we've recharge that battery so it's ready to go tonight. He'll probably come out with us tonight for this one. We want to test the headlights out on that one. And if I can get it done in time, we're going to charge this one and drive it and then we'll take it out tonight. Well, uh, tonight again if we can get yeah. charged in time. I hope we can. Let's go drive. Uh, and oh, we brought drones to do also, but it's been so windy we just can't fly the drones here <gasps> at all. Plus there's an airport close by. So 
just trucks on this trip, but we've still had a lot of fun. He's done some pretty some pretty good choices. Popeye, he's he's ready. He's a hey guys. I got my toys. You get your toys. Let's go. I just want your toys. <laughs> All right, before we get out there, because it's super bright out there, and uh, you know he convinced us he's coming. <laughs> Actually, he convinced me. I have a soft heart. Push house. over. Here we go. Check this out. Oh! Wow. They're only blinking because the transmitter's no. not on yet. See? Let's turn that on. That's bright. Yeah. Good headlights, aren't they? Those are good. Yeah. Popeye's ready to chase. Oh, I like those. There's even a light in there on the switch. Hey, okay, let's go. Okay. Here we are outside. Two things, obviously. This audio that you're hearing is not what is live because here is the live audio. The other thing is we know that salt water is very hard on vehicles. I want to stress that to you guys that salt water will pretty much destroy most RC components unless you have it really, really, really waterproof. And we knew that going in. <laughs> we knew that going in, but because we're at the beach on an island, we wanted to test this. It says it's super amphibious, so I wanted to see, first of all, does it float? And yes, it does. Though it wasn't like super fun in the water. It was just like, okay, let's get out of the water and start driving again. But so, right off the bat, we turned it on and had servo issues. Yes, we did. The steering servo had pretty big issues. Um, it could be because of the salt water, and it's very likely that that is why it had steering servo issues, but I don't know if it should have affected it that quickly because we were just barely wading in a puddle. It's not like it was floating right off the bat. So there was a lot of water involved though, but this is called the amphibious uh, rock climber, high speed car. We'll have a link in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. The four wheel drive worked quite well, and I do think it drove on the sand really well. It had good traction, it had pretty good speed. I love the lights too, the lights are just outstanding. I think that all trucks at $50 or more, or even that little rock crawler, Abby, the, the $35 rock crawler we did just the day before this one, mm -hmm. That one had LED lights installed. As a matter of fact, all the ground vehicles that I brought with us on this little trip, they all had lights. I love when trucks have lights. But uh, this one had range issues. We'd take it like 30, 40 feet away from us and it would cut out. That's right. Yeah, it did have range issues. I hate to admit that, but you're absolutely right. And when there is an issue that stands out on anything, be it a drone, a plane, a truck, or just FPV goggles, we're gonna tell you guys about it because we don't want you to buy something thinking that it will be something it is not. That is not what our channel is about. It says it's an amphibious car, truck, it's not. and it's not. And uh, as far as performance goes, it's just not there. Yeah, this was fun. But we can't really recommend this truck. No, and I think that's what it really amounts to. Our our videos, it's a buy it or not. Is it a pass? Is it a buy? It's a pass. It's a pass. Yeah, it, it sadly is. It's a cool looking truck though. It's a it, it's one that I don't want to say pass on, but it's a pass. Uh, now the other two trucks that we had on the channel, if you guys missed those recently here on our vacation, you totally need to check those out because I think they're pretty well worth the asking price. They were fun. Let us know what you'd like to see on the channel. We're always looking for the next thing that you guys are excited about because most likely we're going to be excited about it too. So this one's a pass, though we did have some fun with it today. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!